Welcome back to another episode of the Boise Stage Stop YouTube video series. Today we are celebrating, as you can tell, Easter. So I have Brittany here with me and we are going to be dyeing some eggs today. And Brittany is my special guest because today is her anniversary here as well. You've been here, what, one year now? One whole year. One whole year. So we've got Brittany here with her lovely bunny ears and we are going to dye some Easter eggs. We've got four different kits here um, with a couple of different ways to dye the Easter eggs with each one of those. So we'll kind of go over those as we go. All right. So we have two different sections. There's actually four different dye thingies, but we'll go over this. This is just the normal one, and actually I mixed two of them together so that they'll okay. be nice and dark. This one, I don't know why it came with like nine different colors, but it's for the marble kit, and we're going to actually add oil to that, which reminds me, I need to We have a wax oil. crayon that came with one of the kits, which also came with these stickers. So you have your alphabet stickers, and then you have your inspirational thingies that says hippity hoppity and Easter and peep chickadoo stuff like that that you can put on your eggs. All right let's see what do I want to do. I want to try one of these. This one is one of the other kits. This is actually a what's it called the 24 karat gold eggs. So it comes with a little golden glaze that you put on the eggs. And you can do just a regular white egg and it just makes a golden egg. Or you do your dyed eggs and once they're dry. It would be like this special golden egg. Yeah, you sponge this <laughs> stuff on and it makes them all gold looking. So we're going to give this one a try. Do you uh, do eggs at your house? Every year. Every year? <laughs> I can't help it. I like feeling like a little kid. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think I try to... If I can get away with it, I won't do the eggs. <laughs> Just because it makes a giant mess. But... I should really experiment with the uh, dyeing of the eggs this year. I've seen... Like, you can take a rubber band and wrap it around the egg and then throw it in the dye, and it makes kind of cool patterns. I guess there's a lot of things you don't think about with <laughs> dyeing eggs. No, not really. <laughs> At one point, like normally you mix all the colors and you get like a muddled brown. I don't think that would happen with an Easter egg. I think at some point it just stops dying. We went from yellow to purple to blue. <laughs> and currently it's green. <laughs> it's kind of looking though. Sponge paint my ugly egg. Make it pretty. Mm -hmm. I kind of expected this to be thicker. Oh yeah, and then this one had the polka dots. I forgot I did that. I missed a bunch of spots because I couldn't tell what I was coloring. Alright, we dyed all of our eggs. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Use the links in the description below to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr pages.